Welcome back. In this third and final module, we look at how you can identify disengagement or other challenging behaviours in young people and how you can respond appropriately. Although challenging behaviours and changes in mood often go hand in hand with adolescence, knowing what is normal and being able to recognise the signs for concern is important. All young people may exhibit challenging behaviours and identifying and addressing them before they escalate is the key to ensuring the well-being of all your club members. Sometimes challenging behaviours can be a result of stressful or worrying events. So consider the young person's current situation and how it may be affecting them. Social inequalities such as unemployment, food insecurity, homelessness, financial hardship and racism place greater stress on families and increase the likelihood of negative outcomes for young people. Sometimes teenagers struggle with frustration or anger and become violent or aggressive towards the people around them. It's important to identify warning signs early so that you can de-escalate a potential situation. Here are some strategies for dealing with hostile behaviour in a young person. Always use non-violent and respectful strategies when interacting with them. Give them space. Remove yourself or any other person who is aggravating the situation and give them time to calm down before trying to have a conversation. Set appropriate non-violent consequences and follow through. This will help the young person to understand that aggressive behaviour is unacceptable. Watch for warning signs like shallow rapid breathing, clenching of fists or jaw, aggressive or loud vocal tone, invading personal space of others, your goal is to prevent escalation of the behaviour. Listen to the young person. Don't interrupt them when they're talking and speak clearly and calmly to them. Listening will help you work out what they want and can help make them feel that you understand them. All club members will most likely sign a code of conduct at the beginning of each season. This is an important social contract and outlines expected behaviours and the potential consequences of not meeting these expected behaviours. The club should reinforce this code of conduct with all members throughout the season. The code can then be referenced if negative behaviours occur. Also, be mindful not to label a young person based on their actions or situation, as this can cause stigma and judgement, which can become entrenched and hard to overcome. On the flip side, Take the time to notice the good behaviours of all club members and acknowledge this appropriately. In fact, the key is to be consistent in how you and the club can respond to both positive and negative behaviours on and off the field. You may also find it is useful to consider whether some minor negative behaviours can be overlooked. Young people may tune out if they are constantly being called out for negative behaviours. You may also find yourself trying to engage or re-engage a young person who seems to be disconnected here are some things to think about. The 12 to 24 year age group has a 20% dropout rate in sport participation, so it's a hard age group to keep engaged and retain in sport. Nevertheless, it's helpful to understand their values. Why do they participate in sport? Is it for physical health and fitness? Learning or improving their sport skills? Is it for their mental health, parental pressure, or just for the social and fun aspect? You can also experiment by upping the time you spend on game-based activities, where the focus is on playing the game itself, rather than too many repetitive technical skills and drills. This encourages greater involvement and develops an understanding of tactics and strategy, and how to apply the technical skills they already have. Or you could try to involve the young people by getting them to shape their own activities. For example, they could choose the music, run the warm-up, or choose from a selection of training routines. Reducing the time young people are hanging around just waiting to try an activity can also help with engagement. Aim for a one-to-one -one ratio of participants and equipment if you can, to cut down the downtime. You can also look for opportunities to inject novelty into programs. Gala days or young people versus coaches games come to mind. If a young person becomes disengaged from your sport, talk to them and remember those tips from module two. Find out why they are disengaging understand their previous motivations for participating, discuss strategies that might help them to return to the club and support them to get back into the game. It's a good idea to always reassure them that there are supports available to them at any time. And remember, your club is there to support you too, as is your Good Sport Relationship Manager. We want to help you to help young people feel safe and valued in your club and have a positive impact on their lives. It's an important role that you're playing. 
Ready for some quiz questions? Let's go.